any of you guys watched my last video, you'll know that it was a cheap and affordable bunker base. While base designs like this are great since they're so cheap, they come with one pivotal flaw against a sweaty opponent. The high foundations used to seal the bunker can be soft sided unless there's honeycomb above it. A couple of you guys pointed this out in the comments, and to me, that just completely illegitimized the base. So I thought it would only be fair to bring you guys a new bunker that can't be soft side rated. This new rest base design features an open living space with plenty of room for furnaces, workbench, and storage. The bunker itself is concealed by a triangular ladder hatch. The best part about it is that you can seal it from inside. You don't have to worry about leaving resources outside to seal your bunker when you log off. Also, you'll basically never have to F1 kill as long as you log off inside the bunker. These half walls right here block access to the soft side of the foundations, meaning that there's literally no way to eco-raid this. Unless they want to use jackhammers on a hard side armored wall. <laughs> Five hours later. Well, I'm sure that this has been done before, um, I'm, I'm willing to say it's not that likely. The space also features roof access, which has no impact on the overall raid cost. What is the overall raid cost, you might ask? Once fully upgraded, this base costs no less than 20 rockets to raid. While we're throwing up stats for you sickos, I might as well show you the cost. While the initial high qual cost might be expensive, it's definitely doable for an active duo or trio to maintain the upkeep every day. This rust based design is also progression based. What this means is that you can pop down the starter unit at the beginning of the wipe and upgrade it as you gain the materials. You don't have to build this all at once. But that's enough introduction, let's get into this. To begin this rust based design, we're going to place down our starter unit. Place foundations like this and upgrade to stone. Begin walling off the structure as I do here. Place your door frame in this position. Upgrade everything to stone except the door frame and the wall next to it. We'll be beating these out later. Don't forget to place on your door and then begin setting up your starter unit as you like it. If you're following along, place your TC in this corner. Then place two large boxes right here. Fill the remaining space in the square with small boxes. Next, place a door frame and then a double door facing outwards towards the front door. This will create your airlock. Next, you want to place your furnaces here and your workbench here. We all need a place to sleep, right? Place your sleeping bags as far away as possible from the front door so nobody can break them. Next, we'll be placing a half height triangle in our current loot room so we have more storage in the space design. Once you have your triangle down, place boxes on top of it like so. Once you've done this, you're officially done with your starter unit and you can begin saving up materials to expand upward. Now that we've gathered the necessary materials, place two low foundations outside the front door and then place two high foundations directly off of them. Upgrade the foundations to stone or above so people can't slide underneath and then place half height walls on top to seal off the soft side of the foundation. Do this on both sides and then seal them off with triangle floors. Now that you have your bunker set up, it's time to get to work on your second floor. Place two wall frames here as this will be your new entrance. I'm going to cover up the first floor as that part of the demo is over. Place walls around the outside, just as I do here to create the shell, and then upgrade it to stone. Next, place down two double doors in the wall frames. If you can't be bothered to keep jumping over the hole that the bunker creates, place down a rug to increase mobility. Those of you with big brains will have noticed that the entrance is on the second floor, so we have to build a jump up. Place down two triangle foundations as I do here on the outside. Place a full wall on that first level next to your front door. Then run around, place a half wall, then place a triangle, and that'll create your jump up. Some of you are probably thinking, Oh dude, this is supposed to be a bunker base bro, I don't see a bunker, this is clickbait dude. To create the bunker, simply beat out the wooden wall with a weapon of your choice. Beat out the other wall next to the TC as well. Then place two half walls on top of each other and break the bottom one. Do this on both sides and you'll create your bunker entrance. To seal, place down a half height wall and then place two triangles off either side and upgrade them to whatever material the bunker is. As you can see, I just sealed it from inside. To exit, simply break the twig wall that holds the floors up. Just place the half height wall again and then you can hop right out if you don't have a ladder hatch or ladder. You can use this room for whatever you like, I prefer to use it as a loot room. Place the boxes however you need them to be. Place your level 2 outside of the bunker on the second floor if you plan on getting a level 3 bench. Move all your furnaces upstairs and place them around the bench. Next we're going to set up our roof access. Place a half height triangle in the corner as you jump up. We're also going to cover up the bunker. Place a triangular floor frame and then place your ladder hatch inside. 
place a wall frame right here as we're going to be adding a garage door. When you're building this in a real wipe, if you don't want to put the roof access on right away, leave a wood triangle until you're ready to build it. When you're getting ready to honeycomb, it's really important that you upgrade the half walls above the raised foundations to armored before you honeycomb because you won't be able to reach them otherwise. Other than that, honeycombing is really simple. Start with triangles outside the bunker. After that, add squares where I do and begin walling it off. Upgrade to stone and then seal off where your old jump up used to be. Create a new walk up ramp with a foundation and a roof. Don't forget to cover up the honeycomb with floors. Go up the roof ramp and then place a wall and a door frame like so. Add a single door and a double door and then replace the other double doors with garage doors. Next, go down to your bunker and upgrade everything to high qual. If you don't have enough high qual, sheet metal will do, it'll just be less rockets to your main loot. You'll have to move a couple boxes when you do the walls behind the main loot, but they're easily replaceable. Also, while you're doing this, make sure the triangle floors above the raised foundations are also upgraded to high qual. Next, you can kind of just cram as many boxes as you can possibly fit in here with the amount of sleeping bags you need. Also, just place your level 3 right where the level 1 was. Be sure to utilize the double box under the level 3 bench rotation technique. Make sure your roof is all metal and then add that roof entrance. Also, make sure your chute is metal just so it's harder to cut off your mobility in case of an actual online raid. And now it's time for one last important touch. Just want to take a moment to say thanks to people who dropped some criticism in the comments. I appreciate that and I wanted to came up with this base design uh, if they hadn't said those things. So I want to create a community where we can criticize each other respectfully and within reason. So thank you guys for doing that in that manner. Also on the opposite end of the spectrum, I've been getting some positive feedback which I appreciate so much. You guys don't even know. Shout out to any of you who have done that and left nice comments. Uh, yeah, but I think that's about it guys. So peace out and I'll see you in the next one.